Good morning everyone, it's uh, Saturday morning, the 8th I believe. Um, yeah, gonna go to the house, got some spare charge batteries, um, some new grinding discs. Uh, yeah, just gonna carry on what I was doing yesterday. Um, and we're also thinking about taking the two male cats to the house. <laughs> We'll take the new um, cats. The new cats. We'll take the. Uh, we'll take the two male cats to the house um, as a bit of pest control, um, just in case we're going to leave the house open so they can go in and out. I'm there every day, so I can feed them, give them water, um, and that's two less cats running around our feet while we're trying to cook. Turned up, uh, spoke with a neighbour yesterday, uh, Veselin, hello mate, um, he's not feeling so good but he uh, he wants all of this metal that we've taken up so if he can make use of it I'd rather someone take it than us uh, bury it under the floor. Um, yeah, hope you get better soon mate. So this morning's plan is to cut up these logs, uh, maybe just in half, just so they're easier for me to, to throw somewhere in store. Uh, metal's going to stay there for our, our neighbour to come pick up um, and I was going around yesterday with the grinder removing all of the low level nails there was probably 20 just there um, yeah just in case I snagged myself on them A uh, little bit more vine work needed and hopefully I can get this bit sorted. 
Uh, just trying to find somewhere to put a camera. Okay. It pays to be, uh, be a little bit methodical when you're doing this. Um, everything's kind of intertwined, so just got to do it bit by bit, unfortunately. So I'm just about to remove the uh, the outdoor shower. Uh, somebody asked us yesterday in uh, in the comments what people tend to do here for the for the summer. They get an old oil drum, something like that, or, or one of the big sort of uh, plastic kegs, paint it black, put it out in the sun, fill it with water, and there's your outdoor shower. It's uh, yeah, it gets real hot real quick in the summer. So this is now our entrance. What a difference that has made. Absolutely amazing. So much more light in that room as well. It's, uh, yeah, it looks really, really cool. Really great. Gives us a real feel for the amount of space that we've got. Hope Emily likes it. So one thing um, myself and Emma have decided is this wall along here um, needs to be removed. If you look from this angle as we come in it goes off at like a I don't know what's that a, a sort of a 30 degree angle yeah where we're gonna uh, extend the barn slightly we need uh, 90 degree walls we've got a, a corner sofa so this will not do Okay, so I'm sufficiently worn out, uh, especially for a Saturday. I'm gonna head back to the house, catch up with the guys, and uh, maybe we'll come back and drop off the cats. A bit of vermin control. So Hudson and I have just taken a uphill 20 minute walk to the house. It's good for my exercise, new year, new start, haven't we? <laughs> but, uh, and then walked in and I was like, oh, we no longer have a roof here. So the space feels really light and big and um, let me come back again. So yeah, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to put a roof here for, I imagine a lot of water collects, which is why everything slopes down here and we've got to work all that out. So we're having a little argument because I want there to be a door here to go to the garden so that you can collect all your fruit and veg, come in here with your muddy shoes, because this will still be obviously, maybe some sort of patio type flooring. And then you can take all your fruit and veg into storage here. And because I don't really want, I want to keep that part of the house sort of clean. And that garden will eventually be like a patio. So it, 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 it will be like a, I don't know if I'm making sense, like a clean garden. The, the pitch can't be too shallow. So mm. we need to come down at approximately the same as this roof. Mm. A little bit shallower, but not too much. And if I'm standing here, the, the top is going to be here and then you've got an overhang so a door will be pretty difficult yeah but then you just dig out all this oh, dig out. yeah exactly but who's digging well we'll hire someone to dig then <laughs> okay. well I basically i don't i really I'm really about, I'm about drainage. no i know i also know but but also lee doesn't think about who cleans the house i really really don't want muddy like shoes in and out of our living space you know that i really want that separate now and this to be like functional you know, mud room to come in and out of the garden, in and out of the front. I think all the women out there are going to understand why I want to have separate entrance from the garden into this sort of utility some area. Of the Maybe some of the men. Oh. Men don't clean though, so they don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to keep the living area in an entrance to like a patio garden, but not all the muddy food uh, gardening 
garden <laughs> can be kind of in and out of this space. I hope that makes sense. Makes sense to me. I'll get my way eventually. And we'll work it out. <laughs> so we brought the two ginger boys here. A, to get them out of my hair <laughs> in the other house because they're just getting a little bit too ravenous for food and they can just come straight in and out of the kitchen. It drives me insane. See, I'm talking. And <laughs> so basically, we've got the two ginger boys here, so they can roam around here, they can keep the rodents at bay at this space, and Lee will obviously be working here daily and can feed them, but this takes a lot of pressure off. Well, the cats are already investigating the roof. <laughs> Lee's just going to take down some of this chain link fence here, so that there's a bit of space to throw stuff in the garden that we don't... So, for example, all this wood, you know... <laughs> can't just keep stacking it inside I've only got to move it again in the future and obviously I would like to get it all composted down for future bed garden beds so thanks to one of our followers frugal living they recommended the Google culture uh, way of getting rid and discarding of all your kind of organic matter to create potting beds essentially so you could start with with large logs then top that with um, of, uh, more organic waste, food, obviously food scraps, coffee grinds, all the straw can go on top and that will just mulch down. And I was reading online, you can actually plant directly into it. I have to wait years for it to be composted down. But even if I just get something started, ooh, careful. Um, obviously we're not going to be living in here this year or be able to do much this year, but if it's just some, some way of getting rid of some of this wood without Lee having to chop it down to fire firewood size which is a lot um, of work and I know people were asking about sort of where you can go to, to skip all this stuff like a tip for recycling they they do exist I think um, we obviously don't have a vehicle that can take big items you know we've got all these kind of old roofing sheets and obviously all the chain link but you can hire companies that will come with the van and load up and get it rid of it for you we just don't know how much that costs and we've still got to do it in the other property you know we still dumped everything in the garden there to clear one day and it's sort of an expense that right now we don't have you know that we'd rather put money towards a bathroom <laughs> even if it means living with a bit of a, a tip pile in the garden for a while until we can afford that so just priorities but as long as it's out of Lee's way so he can work then it doesn't really matter about what it looks like for now Bless you. That was Daddy saying, garden is the last thing he's worried about. And then once we're living in here, we can obviously make the garden pretty once everything's cleared, but that's uh, stage four or five down the line. <laughs> Careful with those concrete poles. They're everywhere here. And I know they're useful because they have a lot of vines here and everyone grows their own grapes, but my God, are they ugly. Careful with your hands. Because there's barbed wire on this as well, because I don't know if Lee might have mentioned in another video but they used to have a dog here you can see part of the dog lead on this fence and basically the dog was just allowed to go back and forth between two metal poles off this lead so they must have had all this barbed wire to stop I guess the dog getting out I don't know and Lee said goats and chickens would have all lived in this area that's why they there's a lot of this um, chain link and barbed wire to keep the animals in and obviously predators out go on son now this is where you're going to say lee definitely needs to wear gloves i know nine years we've been together and i've been nagging him about this stuff he's if he hasn't listened to me after nine years he's not going to listen to you guys just going to store that metal inside the old sty for now as a bit of space and then that, yeah, at least then now, Lee, that bit's clear just to throw some wood, some wood down. All right, so um, I think we're pretty much done here for the day. Yeah. Sign off now. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, so I don't know if we're going to come here, do we? We don't know. Uh, if we do, we'll make a video. If not, have a be, break. we'll have a break. And, <laughs> you and, have a break. And there'll be one the day after. <laughs> you going to say goodbye? Oh, he's being a nuisance. You're going to say goodbye? <laughs> no. He just wants daddy.